directly deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. We need to attend this ball. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thedas. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor, but I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general. But he thinks highly of the Inquisition. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crepton's.
the bogs, we discover this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. He meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> I don't know. He could go in that... what's it called? A gibbet? Chief Movran, you'll be placed in a gibbet. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discover this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Mavran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. He meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> It seems our conflict was accidental, Chief Movran, but it can't be repeated. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinta. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all! <laughs>
it, Leliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was... trying. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. Well, we've got trouble ahead. Are the Red Templars here? There's a few up in the hills, but for once, they're not our biggest problem. What is? Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Have any undead attacked the camp? We've had a few shamblers, but most head toward the village below. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck. And please be safe. Warden saved me from those corpses. They're amazing. I'm going to see if they're looking for recruits. I can understand how someone might want to join the Wardens. Oh, Maker. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes. The Wardens are heroes. They said, with all that's happening, I'd like to help people the same <laughs> by joining the Grave Wardens. You can't think of something less leaf. Farewell. I'm dead by the gates. Let's do it. Maker, if something happens. Are you looking for someone named? Oh, was I? Judith lives outside the village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safe? Likes her space. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she. She turned me down. Good day. And to you. Inquisitor, oh, Mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village, at your... Are you... We will, right? I mean, these people are terrified. 
The undead are appearing because of a rift in the fa- The light in the lake? It Dark spawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. It wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. I saw a dam. If we- Drain the- We must- There's not. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. Trust me, I fought worse than band. Then, this key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The ri but, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Until late. Of course. 